Hi uh, YouTube, this is Patrick with another entry in the Blu-ray column. Uh, I picked up two new movies this week, so those are the two I'm going to be talking about, which are The Crow and The Goonies. So, The Crow, 1994, famous for Brandon Lee dying while the making of the film. Not famous for the fact that it's actually also a pretty good movie. Uh, I had the DVD, but I hadn't watched it in years. Um, I picked up the Blu-ray when I heard that the that the, the video quality was good uh, because it's a very dark movie and it'd be very easy for it to um, just you know not look good on Blu-ray. It's it's important that the Blu-ray gets the like the black levels uh, right. Uh, so they're just really like pitch black to go against like all the other light in the movie. Uh, just it, it's it's just really important in this movie, and this uh, did not disappoint. Just hold it to this side; you can see it better. Um, you know, it's it is it's a really good movie. It's directed by Alex uh, Alex Proyas, who um, made the very good Dark City, the very bad I Robot, um, and he just made the Nicolas Cage movie Knowing. Um, so he's got. You know, this and the Dark City are his two good ones. Um, he's going to be directing the new version of Paradise Lost, which would have me excited, except for the fact that Bradley Cooper is playing Lucifer, which just takes that down. But uh, this is a really good movie, uh, The Crow. It uh, its visuals are the best thing about it. It's a little outdated with some of the effects and the music, um, and even some of the style is a little outdated, but. Still very good. It uh, cost me like 15 bucks. Um, worth it. You know. Uh, I threw it on, watched it once. Uh, who knows when I'll sit down and watch it again. But uh, still. Still, you showed to someone that hasn't seen it or something like that. So I, I, didn't, I didn't mind the buy. Good buy. Then, moving on to The Goonies. Which uh, I've grown up watching since I was younger. Um, the Goonies is kind of where... You kind of the first movies I saw were all the kids just say shit the entire time, um, and it was kind of an eye opener back then. Um, still love this movie. They released a, a Blu-ray for it that was like fifty bucks. Um, I don't love it that much. Plus the fact it's on TV all the time, which was, even though I got the single disc version that was only nine dollars, I was still kind of wasn't sure if I was going to get it because uh, you know how many times would I watch it, but. It took not five minutes into the movie to kind of sit through it again, and uh, I really do love it. Um, the Blu-ray's a little, little uneven visually. Uh, like, some scenes look great, some look kind of blurry. Um, much like this video. Well, this video is just really bright. But uh, otherwise, uh, it's got a ton of great actors in it, you know, or well-known actors uh, with Sean Astin and Josh Brolin. Um... Marley, Martha Plimpton and uh, you know so on and so forth I kind of wish uh, Steven Spielberg would produce more movies like this, Gremlins and Back to the Future instead of producing Transformers and uh, bad TV shows that got cancelled um, you know his directing in my opinion hasn't gone down at all, some people feel that way but I haven't um, but his producing certainly has um, so I hope he can get back to some better stuff but Regardless, Goonies, goodbye, nine bucks. Crow, goodbye, fifteen bucks. I'm happy with them. Uh, I think that's it for this one. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with a Dexter review and Tuesday with a Walking Dead review. Uh, Rob and I are gonna film the Fuzzy Motion Spielberg '90s video the first weekend in November, so that so look out for that. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it. That is it. Later, guys. Do the truffle shuffle.